Next challenging part to make will be this tool slide and the clapper box and the clapper. Now, behind here there's a dovetail. Of course, the clapper box must clap clap. And I don't know if I'm gonna make this swivel system or not. Let's take it apart and have a closer look. Making this box and the clapper, I don't think it will be too much trouble. And then the tool holder, this is gonna be late work. So, but we'll see, we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there. And also I don't know how to make this uh, groove here, this uh, smiley thing, but we'll see. The first problem is of course, when we turn this thing around, I have to make a dovetail right here. Dovetail, dovetail, I don't know. But it's gonna be a blind cut. I can't go with my cutting tool all the way through. So I need to make a groove over here to break the chip. Uh, the ideal should be to make the groove in this direction, but it's gonna make a gap over here. I don't want that to happen. So what I'm gonna try, I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's uh, worth giving it a go. I'm gonna drill a hole here and here, and then maybe here in the middle somewhere, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. So the chip that will be formed while getting, cutting this uh, dovetail can break here in this hole. And all this out of this little thing here. First I'm cutting the right shoulder behind here. Of course you can see I take very light cuts. So this is going to take a while. My little part here is cut to depth. <coughs> I left it in the vise because uh, otherwise I'm gonna have a big problem for work holding with these uh, small parts. It's not really easy. So now over here I have to drill the holes and then cut the dovetail in this direction, of course. Really easy, really, yeah. The depth of the dovetail is 1.77. There is one problem when I made the ram, I clamped it in the vise, holding it this way, like this, for I don't know what. Uh, I think for cutting the dovetail and it made an indent here and I see here there's a little bit of bent in it. So I'm gonna have to touch this a little bit with a file or something. I don't think I have a good file to do this but we'll see. Two millimeter holes, two millimeter deep. Ready to cut the groove 1.7 millimeter deep. Alright. 
tonight. I have a little bit of a situation. Let me explain. The depth of the cut is 1.5 millimeter. Yeah. I cut it at 1.7, so after it's finished it will look a bit more like this. That's a bit the idea. Yeah? Free space over here. Which means I have to make a cutting tool, in fact two tools, that can cut here this dovetail on this side and another tool this dovetail on this side. This width here is 2 mm because of the depth of 1.5 and the angle is 45 degrees. This distance from here to here, uh, something like this, is of course also 1.5. If I make a tool that goes in here to cut this maximum width of the tool 2 mm otherwise it will not fit in this slot. Yeah? Logic. To cut 1.5 deep that way over here the maximum width of my cutting tool I will take this away a bit make a cutting tool 45 degrees this distance is maximum a half a millimeter. That's gonna be a challenge. Little change of plan over here. Plunging with a form tool and with a thickness of about a half a millimeter, I don't think that's gonna work. So let's plunge in at 45 degrees, like shown here. The problem is, of course, the maximum width here is 2 mm, and my cutting blades are also 2 mm. In an angle, that's not gonna work. So now I need to know the maximum width I can have here on my cutting tool. Not really a problem. Pythagoras. We know this distance, 2 mm. We can make here a triangle. Yeah. And we know, because it's 45 degrees, this length and this length is the same. Let's calculate. We know that this distance, C, is 2 mm. The square of 2 is, of course, 4. Not complicated. We also know that A square and B square must be the same, must be equal, there's a plus. So I suppose it's logic that a square and b square is 2, because 2 plus 2 equals 4. Yeah? The square root of 2 is 1.4. As Pythagoras, he knows. Right, normally Everything is installed, ready to go. <laughs> can see the dial. Well, I think it worked. That looks like a half a dovetail. So now let's regrind the tool on the other side, flip the tool head 45 degrees the other side and cut. 
the second half. Cutting this side is easier. I see better what I'm doing. Dials. When I was cutting the first slot on this part, while cutting, the part moved, but I didn't see that. It's only while I was editing the footage that I saw that this part had moved, which means I lost a bit the references. So now for cutting this uh, dovetail, I stopped cutting a little bit earlier and gonna have a look if it works. I think it might work. I'm gonna knock off this burr here. Right. I'm gonna cut a li little bit deeper and see what happens. Yes, it's a bit sloppy, but it works. I think for the first time in my life I make a very small dovetail. I never did this before. I'm happy with the result. Right, let's drill a hole in this thing and in the ram. This is a bit scary drilling because this part of course is moving a bit and I have to touch the ram here on a round surface. That worked. Put this together, put the bolt in. So that's good. Now of course I need to block the system here that this uh, tool slide cannot fall down. And to do that um, I'm not sure Maybe what I can do is flatten these uh, bolt heads off, both of them, and then solder like this together. Which means I'm gonna have a thickness 
inside now for the moment it's too too big it doesn't fit inside I hope you get the idea and I can cut off the part I don't need and make a handle let's try this Yeah, that could work. Oh, and by the way, I also made a oops bolt. My highly professional setup here. Let's see if it works. Come on, thing, burn. Right, this is attempt number B. First I soldered a bit the heads of the screws, so now I'm sure that this solder is stick well. Oops. It moved. Success. Well, no, it was not really success. The solder I used is this one. This is a tin solder for electronics and all these other kind of things. Of course, it doesn't have the strength of silver solder. That's why I suppose they call it soft solder. So I have to find another way to make a lead screw for the tool head, but that will be in part 9. <laughs> 